little break uh, during the daily devotionals to look at some uh, images of art. I actually have two images in my residence. There are, of course, both reproductions. Uh, the first one that I'll look at today, we'll look at another one another day. This is uh, an image called uh, the uh, Improvisation, the Deluge, by the uh, Russian uh, modernist uh, abstract artist uh, Vasily Kandinsky, who lived in the second half of the 19th century and then into the 20th century. And uh, you can tell by the title, the Deluge, that we've got an image of the Great Flood. So Kandinsky, as he became more um, modern and more abstract in his uh, approach to art, became increasingly um, a person that was not accepted by his Russian government and nation, primarily because although he was very abstract, he maintained a very prominent spiritual side to his art. And this one, of course, we're going to depict the great flood from the scriptures, from the New Te Old Testament of the Bible, then he has a spiritual purpose as well. So I just think it's 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 a it's a image that's filled with lots of uh, um, lots of movement, lots of uh, energy, as one would expect when we think about the flood of waters. So uh, he said he did several of these um, uh, improvisations on the Great Flood. This one very clearly shows lots of blue, suggesting the water. And then if one looks closely, one can perhaps see some images of of living creatures. Here's maybe a bird with its red eye and its beak. And then maybe uh, a fish down here, perhaps. Um, also, maybe with the angles right here, we think maybe some structures there. Uh, here, maybe uh, the, the mountain where the ark will finally land. We don't know that. It's very abstract. But it's very clear we also have this uh, diagonal beam of uh, seeming light here suggesting perhaps that the divine presence remains even in this chaos. Uh, I think it's a helpful image for us. That's why I like it in my residence to remind uh, that even when life gets chaotic, there's still a, a divine presence. And we know from the image, uh, the story from the um, Old Testament of the Bible, that even though the world which has become according to the scriptures, a wicked place. Nonetheless, the destruction is leading to more. It's leading to life. And so in these days, when we can see many things that we're used to falling away, perhaps this image of the divine light in the middle of the chaos reminds us that uh, the divine plan endures and continues. So uh, let's continue to reflect on these days and how we might see the divine presence in the midst of our confusion. And let's ask God's gift of faith that we'll need to uh, trust that even when things seem confused, uh, nonetheless, our Lord is with us. Well, God bless you. We'll talk to you soon.